So here is the Orlick kit that you find. Never built from them before. It's a Fokker triplane, classic example. And I always wanted to build one in 1 33rd scale. So here are the initial plans. Each of these are steps and they show you pretty much exactly how things are going to go together. There's some cockpit interior stuff. There's some more. Each individual part is numbered. Here's some of the fuselage going together. There's the cowling. The engine goes in there. You can see fuselage sort of skins where the wings go and the tails. The propeller is inserted. And then you get to the actual printed piece. And you can see it's very well printed. You got interior detail there. Um, you got all these nice colored pieces. I'm not, I don't like the black color. So what I'm going to do is, is repaint this whole thing. Uh, but you can see that it's very well um, in register. There's the cowling bottom wing. There's this, uh, part of the reason I don't like this painting is the black and that ugly edge. There's the rudder, um, the landing gear wing. And then on this page, all the little formers that you need to cut out along with spars, which I'm going to put on 132nd balsa. And uh, it'll all come together nicely. And then here is more detail on how the engine's put together, as well as um, there's individual cylinders, how the cockpit area goes together from the side and up top are all of the pieces of wire one-to-one um, -one so that you can bend them to the right size and cut them to the right size. Now because this is printed and has these nice little positions for ribs but I'm going to paint them I want to emboss them from the back side so I held this thing up to a window drew little lines and then took a ruler and a little um, dull piece of metal and basically it connected those lines. You can kind of see in the picture that there's indentations there. Here I'm just demonstrating how I did that. It's very simple. Um, you just, in my case, you have to practice a little bit, but you took about, I took about four swipes at each position and that gave me now a texture, a little bit of, um, you know, reverse embossment. So those are going to be raised slightly. So when I repaint this, I'll still have the ribs located. And I did that on the stabilizer, on the wings, the rudder, and then when I'm feeling them, you can feel a little texture on there. And it's just perfect. Um, so I'm hoping that that will look good. We'll see how we go next time.